So you really liked my last hologram tutorial with the spinning mouse wheel, so I thought let's jump right into a new hologram. So I thought this floating icon animation would be perfect for you. This one is a bit more advanced, but I try to keep it as simple as possible so everyone can recreate it. For that you need only two things. I've got here this shot from my smartphone with my home screen on. And the second one is just a screenshot from my home screen. So these are the only two things you need. With them create a new fusion clip and let's jump right into fusion. First as always delete the merge node and the background node. Then click here on the right dot so you can see which clip it is. So this is the smartphone lying there. So I just connect it here with the media out. And the media 2 is here the screenshot from the icons. We can leave it up here somewhere around here. So now step by step what we need to do. First we're gonna cut out an icon. For that we need a polygon mask and plug it into the screenshot here. Then to animate the floating animation hit shift and spacebar and type in DVE. Press enter. And this is the node tree we need for every single icon. Then with the DVE selected put here a multi merge node. Not the normal merge we need a multi merge. Here we're gonna plug every single icon in. So plug this into the multi-merge and then after the multi-merge hit once again shift and spacebar and type in DVE. With this DVE node 2 we will position here the icon we've cut out from the screenshot. And so we don't need to do it with every single icon, we can do it after the multi-merge altogether. And then after the DVE you can just connect it here to the square of the phone, this creates a merge node. So then we have put everything together. Now the first step is we need to cut out the first icon. Select here the screenshot and put it to the left viewer and you can see we see nothing. This is because we need to invert the polygon mask. So select the polygon and click here on invert. So here you have your image back. And then with the polygon mask selected you can zoom in by holding control or command and scroll the mouse wheel. We will cut out here our first icon. Better cut it out too small than too big because we don't want to have the background inside. And close the mask. Now you can invert it back because we only want to have the icon. Now to round these edges select here the dot and then by holding down command or control you can adjust here this handle and now do it with every corner. Like that. This is our first icon cut out. And you can see it here in the right viewer in the output we have it up here. And now we need to exactly position this icon here on the right icon where it needs to be. For that don't take here the DV1, take the DVE2, very important, make it with this node here. Then on the right side you've got here the sliders. Up here you can position it roughly where you want it to have and down here on rotation you can tilt it down and flip it around until it's aligned with the icon on the smartphone. So take your time here and make it as perfect as possible. So I think that looks very good. You can see here on both sides it's not perfectly aligned but we will fix that later with, with the curves and with the fade in and so. So this is totally fine like that. Then select here the first DVE and now it's important that you set here the pivot point exactly on top here of the first icon. So that when we move the set position here we can let it float up from this position. I want to start with the animation here around at frame 10. So I set here at frame 10 a keyframe on the set move and I want to float this icon up for like 15 frames. So I'll go 15 frames further to 25 and then I adjust here the set position to around here. So what we've created is we have here this icon and then it starts floating up. And make sure go to settings motion blur and put the quality and shutter angle all the way up so when the icon flies up we have some motion blur in it so that this, this looks way smoother at the end so this is the first icon done now we need to repeat that process with every single icon select these three nodes copy it by pressing command or control cv copy it over here and connect it with the multi merge now i recommend to put the screenshot here the next one in the left viewer, select the polygon mask, 
and then here with the center X position just slide over with your mask until you're here at the next icon. Then select here the DVE from the second screenshot, zoom a little bit in and now you can see we need to adjust a little bit the position so don't touch here the set move only center X and Y, put it a little bit over, take the pivot point and put it on top and like so you have two icons down. Once again, select these three nodes, copy it over, plug it in, put the screenshot in the left viewer, select the polygon, slide it over to the next icon, select the DVE node, center X position a little bit to the left, take the green X and put it on top. And so you have three icons down. And now I think you got the hang of the process, so just repeat it until you've got every single icon or as much icons you want to animate. So once you've connected every single icon, your fusion will look something like this. Pretty cool, I think. We can forget about the upper section right here. We just focus here on these nodes down here. Now we want to let them float up in different speed and positions. For that, we open up here the splines. Here you can forget about here the polygons. We don't need that. We only want to have the DVEs. And you can see here from frame 10 to frame 25, this is the curve from the keyframes from the floating up animation. And now we want to have it a bit different. So for example, this icon floats more up than the, the YouTube icon. And we want to give a bit of variety in, in this whole scene. And for that, go here to frame 25, where all the icons are in the air. Now you can reposition here the starting point by holding down shift you hold it in the same line so when you move up and down it won't get affected so I want it to start right here and this is the end keyframe without holding down shift I just move it around to somewhere like here. And like that, this icon floats in a different height and direction as the other ones. Now I repeat that process with all the icons. I just select this one here and put it somewhere else. So once you've done it, every icon go to different heights and in different speed. And that gives this animation way more look into it. And of course we need to smooth all the keyframes, so select all your DVE nodes, click here on zoom to fit, with command or control A select every single one of them, press S and then press T to open up this menu and ease in to around 80 and this will make this animation so smooth to watch. Then deselect all of them, now we are done here with the DVEs. You can close the splines for now, but of course we are not done yet. We make two more adjustments to spice this animation a little bit more up. Here we have our phone. With the phone selected, hit shift and spacebar and type in Gaussian blur and press enter. Now you see everything goes blurry except from the icons and this is what we want to have. Here on frame 10, the animation starts. At this point, we want to blur our smartphone. So we go here to around frame 15, I think, select the Gaussian blur and put it to around 0.3. Select here the keyframe, then here on frame 10, reduce it to zero. So here from frame 10 to frame 15, the background goes blurry while the icons pop up. And at the same point, we want to give the icons a little bit of a glow. So we have more like this hologram effect like in the other tutorials I've did. So here after the DVE node, hit shift and spacebar and type in soft glow. And now all the icons starts to glow, that's very cool. What I really like to do here with this glow is I disable the red, put the gain to around 0.35 and the glow size I will leave it like that. So when I turn it off and on it just gives that little teal glow to it and in my opinion this looks very cool especially up here when they are floating. It gives a bit more of this hologram feeling to it. And of course we want to keyframe them as well. Here on frame 5 where everything is blurred we set here the keyframe on the gain and on frame 10 where we have no blurred phone we reduce it to zero. So we have exactly the same curve. When I open up here the splines you can see the Gaussian blur and here the soft glow have exactly the same curve. And we can smooth them by pressing command A and press S. So like that we have a blur and a glow while the animations start to float up. But I think it comes 
too early so maybe we can take here these two keyframes and by holding down shift we drag it a little bit over to maybe frame 20 so we have a bit more space here in between yeah i think that looks way better so you can make it like 10 frames now your animation should look like this and if you're not happy with the positioning of the icons open up the splines search the icon you want to adjust and slightly adjust the curve where you want the icon to have that's pretty much it. it was a bit more of an advanced tutorial but i hope it was easy to understand with that said have fun creating and see you in the next one